This is the story nobody wants to do. A story about losing a friend, a co-worker, somebody we've all looked up to. For the last week and a half, we've been mourning our good friend Reggie Hall, and today, a community came to say goodbye. As he said to me a number of times, you're my brother from another mother. I'll never forget that. We were family to each other. We, we owe Reggie a lot. Uh, always had time for everybody, and that's what it's about. You, you know, I mean, he would find a, find a way to, to make everybody's life better. You knew Reggie forever. All those nights working together, how can you possibly put into words what he means to you? Uh, it's difficult to put into words what somebody means to you. When I first found out from you that he had passed away, I just took two hours and put myself in a room and tried to put some thoughts on paper, and that was my therapy. And, and it worked, because you start to really appreciate, in my case, the 11 years that I had spent with him. What it, really came to the forefront for me. I knew what he meant to me. I didn't really think about what he might have meant to other people. And then you read the tributes and you read what other people said about him. And it's like, wow, that's exactly how he made me feel. And it's neat that you know somebody who makes other people feel that way. The greatest gift Reggie Edward Hall had, the ability to make people feel good. I don't care what kind of day you're having, Brad. You sit down with Reggie for two minutes after that, he made you feel good. By the time you walked out of here, you were having a good day. You know how he loved Titan Athletics. He loved coming to Callahan Hall. Every day at practice, Brad, I look up and I see, you know, Reggie's corner, Titan Reggie's corner, you know? And, uh, you know, it's gonna be hard to, uh, to go on and uh, not know he's not with us. These are the steps Reggie would climb game after game, each and every season here at Callahan Hall. So today, as we say goodbye to our good friend, his loud voice is not heard from this corner anymore, but we take warmth in knowing his heart lives on in the hearts of so many, and that voice we'll hear forever.